Hey guys, it's April coming to you with my week 23 post op VST update. Pretty sure it's 23. I think I even said 22 at the end of last week, which was 22. <laughs> I meant for this week. I, I don't know. There's a lot going on right now, so it's hard for me to keep up. So we'll go ahead and jump into stats. Uh, high weight date of liquid diets, 306. That was 7-30-2016. Surgical weight was 294.4. That was August 9th of 2016. Last week I came to you guys at uh, 221.8. This week I came in at 218.2. So that's a 3.6 pound loss for the week. Uh, I'm down 87 pounds total from my highest weight and uh, it's like 87.2 so I don't know 87.8 something like that and then so from surgery that would be 76 pounds something like that because I lost 11.6 pounds on my liquid diet um nothing really interesting going on this week actually well I mean school starts tomorrow for me it actually started today, but my only classroom class is a chemistry class, and I <laughs> have been avoiding taking chemistry for a really long time because the programs that I were in, that I was in previously, did not require chemistry as a prerequisite, and so I was able to take um, like a biology for health science class that filled a prereq. Anyhow, that is not the case this time. This uh, medical lab tech program that I am going to be doing requires chemistry, so I have to go ahead and take it and bite the bullet. Never know, if I decide to do nursing down the line, I'll need chemistry anyway, so gotta take it. So that's my only classroom class. I have a lecture on Monday and Wednesday morning, and then I have a lab on Wednesday afternoons. And I just found out actually that I, my first lab isn't even until next week. So called my boss and was like, hey, I'll work tomorrow. And, and so, I mean, and, and that way I still have my three day weekend, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Cause my schedule's changed quite a bit recently um, due to some cutbacks. Anyhow, uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'm a little, I don't know, not not looking forward at the same time because it's a chemistry class and uh, it's just not one of my favorites. I like sciences in general, but yeah, you know, I'm more of a psych person. I'd rather take a psychology class. I'm actually taking a sociology class, which I don't even need for anything currently, but I'm looking to pursue a bachelor's in psychology down the line and uh, so I know I'll need that for that degree so I was like I might as well take it since I can take it so that the sociology class and then I'm taking um, an ethics and law and medicine class and um, that's an online class as well that class is actually taught by a very old friend of mine someone I've been friends with for almost 20 years so that's kind of neat that I'm getting to take her class uh, anyhow, I just kind of submerging myself in that this morning. I was online trying to do all of the things that I can do. I like to do a lot of my schoolwork at work just because it's easier for me to print things out and do a lot of things on there, which, you know, if, so, I mean, it's not that I can't do it at home. It's just a lot of times it's easier because of my computer access. I don't have... I mean, here I just have my laptop and then I have to like go and physically hook it up to my printer and all this stuff. So I need a wireless printer, I guess. Anyhow, I am just feel like I'm totally rambling. I'm trying to think if I have any NSVs this week. My throat is hurting a little bit for whatever reason. So I'm a little nervous about that. I hope I'm not getting sick because I got sick at the beginning of the semester last semester. And that sucks. <laughs> I really don't want to be sick, but I'm around sick people all the time, so it unfortunately is part of uh, par for the course. So let's see, NSVs. You know those large scrub pants that I bought months ago, many months, what back in October or September or something like that, that were way too tight at the time. Finally got into them. Well, they're almost too big now. So I'm gonna have to buy some more scrubs. I guess that's an NSV, although it's an expensive NSV. 
I wish that it was a little bit cheaper. Um, clothing wise, I am pretty much in that 14. I haven't bought a lot of jeans. I've, I've basically just, I've bought a couple things from Old Navy, which of course, as I said before, they're vanity size. So I don't know if I'm liking a 14 from other stores. I did go to the Buckle, uh, which is if you don't have a buckle or you're not familiar with a the buckle, they sell <laughs> really high priced denim and clothing. And um, they're sort of a trendy store. They're typically found in malls. I've never seen one in like a strip mall or anything like that. Not to say they don't have them. I just never seen one like that. And uh, I bought a pair of 32 waist jeans from there. So that made me happy. Uh, they were stretchy though. You know what I mean? Uh, any other NSVs? You know, this isn't really an NSV per se. It's not a victory, I guess. <laughs> it's more of a pain in the ass. But uh, Jess, uh, watch Kitty Shrink, was talking about her bones rubbing together and they hurt. But I've noticed that a lot lately, too. I've noticed that when I cross my legs, which is very frequent now because I can, right? Uh, that my the bones on the side of my knees, they tend to start to hurt my calves, the top of my calves after a while. And I'm always having to like readjust myself as well as like when I'm laying in bed, my hips hurt, my knees. I, well, I like to sleep with a body pillow anyway, but if I didn't, I definitely would have to because my knees are not comfortable. They rub together. And I was telling my husband this, who is naturally thin and always has been. He's a pretty bony person. And he was like, oh, so now you got skinny people problems, right? And now you know how we feel. And uh, I, I don't think I guess they're skinny people problems. I don't, wouldn't know. I've never really had a lot of skinny people problems, even in the past. But I guess if that's one, then I have that. <laughs> that's a problem for me now. Uh, um, I, I'll take it over being fat, though. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. You know, there's a tag that's going around the pre-op to post-op, and I'm thinking about doing that. I just don't know if I can add anything that hasn't already been said, because there's been a lot of really good points out there already. I know Esther made a video, and, um, Cindy made a video, too, I think, and I, uh, I, they made a lot of really good stuff, so I just don't know if I can add anything to that, but I might make that if I have some time, because, there may be somebody following me that's not following them and didn't see that, but I will link their videos in a little while. I'll upload this when I get to work and I'll link their videos in there so that you can take a look at those because there's a lot of good information there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I uh, don't have any other information for you guys this week. That's about it for me now. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week. You have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.